It's like hamburgers. Everything's always better when it's flame broiled. This is Killzone 2. Two more reasons to buy a PlayStation 3. One, you get a flamethrower. And two, you get the rest of this excellent game with the flamethrower. It's like a Happy Meal. They will know Helgan belongs to the Helgans. Apocalypse now mixed with Starship Troopers. And the music is so serious. Why not lighten it up a bit for these shooting games? This is Killzone 2 for the PlayStation 3, the highly anticipated sequel to Killzone 1. It seems to be a bold move these days going out with a console exclusive game. Watch your step. But that's business, and how does Killzone 2 compare to some of the other excellent shooters on the PlayStation 3, Xbox 360, and Atari 7800? Well, it's pretty good as you can see on screen. I can't help but be reminded of Resistance and Resistance 2 quite a bit on the PlayStation 3. This game is very smooth for the most part, except when you're changing levels or scenes. It tends to jerk at that point, but then it gets right back into the gameplay, which is silky smooth, just like Resistance 2. Everyone seems to be talking about the graphics of Killzone 2, and they are phenomenal. The in-gameplay graphics are nearly as good as what you see in the cutscenes. I reviewed a game on the ColecoVision recently called Frenzy. They, they could have saved that title for this game. It would have been more appropriate when you get into the middle of a battle. It seems like enemies are raining down all around you. Except they're not robots controlled by evil Otto. I like the gameplay in Killzone 2. It's a nice mixture of a corridor shooter where you're, where you're crawling down hallways, picking off people one by one using grenades, and also a big outdoor epic battle scene game where you have a team of soldiers with you, tanks, and things flying all over the place. It seems to mix it up well and doesn't get boring at any one at anyone's spot. I, I hate to say it, but the teammates remind me of the guys in Haze. They're kind of generic. They don't look at you. When they talk to you and when they get shot, they cry out for help, you can help them out, like uh, in Gears of War. Those guys remind me of big daddies from Bioshock. They're fun to bring down. Shoot them in the back and they explode. Sound work in Killzone 2 deserves mention. It's it's excellent. The guns make wonderful sounds. The shell casings uh, are just terrific. They do a great job with the surround sound. You definitely get a feeling for whatever environment you're in, depending on the sound. Also, when your character is horribly wounded. The sound changes, letting you know you're about to die. Take cover. When your guns are about to run out, you can tell right away by the sound. I love the weapon selection in the game, and the grenades in particular. Well, I, I wouldn't have made it past the first level without grenades. They're the best grenades in video games ever. Good, 
If I have any criticisms about Killzone 2, it's that the dialogue is definitely cliched. Just ripping off lines from aliens and swearing every other word does not make for good storytelling. But that's definitely overshadowed by the intensity and quality of the action. Also, this game has one of those stupid tank driving scenes, fortunately not that much of it. Although I like science fiction shooters a, a great deal. There's been a lot of games that have looked like this recently. A little diversity is, I think, a good thing. That's why I review the obscure games out there you've never heard of. In any event, Killzone 2 is an excellent shooter with multiplayer, surround sound, like what you see on screen, it's even better when you play it. Decimated. The weapon performed adequately.